Now this illustration still deals with the minimum wire bending space, but instead of an L bend that we uh, uh, formed and connected in figure 7-7, seven -seven, we're dealing with an S or Z bend, and these bends are a lot harder to terminate than the L bend. Notice though we uh, size based upon table 312.6B now. Now notice we still have the 250 uh, kc mil THHN conductors say coming in. But notice now what the uh, bending space is. Step one, in accordance with table 312.6B, based upon one conductor per lug, rated at 250 kc mil, eight and a half inches from the lug to the enclosure. Do you see the difference from four and a half to eight and a half? Why, do, why does the code want this extra distance? So you have the room to maneuver those conductors and connecting them without taking a hammer and beating them back so you can get the cover on or notching the cover so it'll place over them because you can't fold them back in there. So the electrician has this responsibility to make sure the size conductors that they are pulling and terminating will have the adequate clearances for an L bin or for S or Z bin in accordance with table 312.6A for an L bin. For a Z or S bin, table 312.6B and the appropriate table must always be used based for the type of bin in accordance with 408.3G, which illustration 7-8 is illustrating here an S or Z bin in accordance with table 312.6B, as in boy.